Well, I believe while we're here, we might as well dance. I am passionate about people. I love the relationships in my life with my God, my family, and my friends. I also believe in living life to the fullest, that you have this moment in time, and that's all you're given is this moment. So you might as well live it to the fullest and find a way to dance. Well, I'm very proud to say that I am from a long line of Christian, strong, independent women, and I'm proud of that legacy. I am faithful. I'm a faithful friend, wife, daughter, mother. I love the relationships in my life. I'm energetic, outgoing, optimistic. I also am a big believer in choices, and you have a choice, and I choose to make every trial that comes my way to make me better instead of bitter and ask God what can I do with this not why has this happened the person that has influenced me the most that's an easy one my mom my mom is the one constant in my life she is my rock my encourager and she shadows the love of God, totally, unconditionally loves me. She's full of wisdom and insight. If she says it, I believe it, because Mama said so. Today we're going to look at some inner tips for inner beauty. Uh, and excuse me, Beatrice? Yes, Sally Spiritual. I'm so glad to be here. I'm at the Bible study. I have my big Bible and I'm here to learn. Well, I know, but you seem like you're a little bit uncomfortable. In fact, you seem like you might be a little bit worried about something. Are you worried? Well, you know, I just, this is my baggage that goes along with me. Goes, it's part of me, just goes wherever I go. And you know, worry, you know, women worry. That's what we do. We worry about our job. We worry about our kids. We worry about our husband. And what if he goes? What if he stays? I can give you one trait of the popular sanguine and immediately you'll have somebody come to mind. The popular sanguine is known as the talker. See, you already have someone that you're thinking of. The popular sanguine is outgoing, optimistic, fun-loving. Their motto is, are we having fun yet? Why do we need to know these temperaments? Why do we need to understand the way people are wired? Not only do you need to know it for yourself, so that you can live in the strengths of your personality, but also it helps you be able to relate to others because you can quickly identify what their needs are and you can meet them where they're coming from. So here I sit, broken glass slipper in hand, once again at a marriage conference, learning how to have a godly marriage with this stranger sitting beside me who just happens to be my husband of 14 years. Now, two weeks before this, he has informed me, pulled me into the room and said, Tanya, I need to tell you something, and I'm about to rip your heart out. Now, how do you prepare for that? Where do you go with that? So it is at this moment in my spirit, I hear God say, Tanya, I am calling you to do what he is doing. I am calling you to speak to other women who are hurting just like you do. You give them hope, you point them to me. Well, I look around and think, surely he didn't mean me because I am a mess. She'll have me dancing and one thing she does is she inspires me every day. She inspires me to be a better husband, a better father, and just a, uh, just an all around better guy. And I think she'll inspire you um, she'll want to make you a better person than you are now or that you ever dreamed of being. So I know you'll enjoy uh, listening to her talk. Uh, she'll encourage you. She'll inspire you. And uh, she'll make you want to be better. So that's what I love about her. I just saw this warmth and this beauty and this sincerity from her that um, I just can't explain. And um, I would call her up and talk to her and she didn't so much as give me advice as she would listen to me in the beginning 
And then when I finally said, well, what do you think? She directed me and said, well, you know, God's word says this and God's word said that. And so many people had said that to me, but it's just the way that she inspired and the way she brought God's word about to me that really, really I took to heart. I know that if she can help me in a situation like that, that she would be able to inspire you as well.